Greens have one, and great here for another yep. Cuppy Rose one replay. Spawn well, north side as the Pans Elite player, we have Nero. Spawn well, south side as the British player, we have a four name. Let's see, we do have a triple Kettengrad opener, very nice. He's going to go for the capture everything plan, because <clears throat> Brits are relatively slow. And camouflage ability enabled, so we do have an early Luftwaffe ground forces. You can, if you take a close look, this is probably not a great angle for the uh, glares. We do have the camouflage pattern there. And Grad making the way over to this sector here. <coughs> if section capturing up the to the center map, he's probably going to set up this four HQ here. Against uh, Pants Elite, they tend to go heavy in 2 to 2s as well as other light vehicles, so some bow first emplacements could be quite nice. He is deploying something out here. He's already got one intersection, creeping the way around the flank, capturing the fuel sector. So he's probably going to go for either Brenker or a Lieutenant. Sorry, I just realized my drink was not in a great spot. Section runs back through the base sector in order to faster movement, but no, he's still trying to get the brand carry there. He's going to mount up. Mission sector being claimed up here. Do you have a fast camp groove company? I wonder if we're going to see an early 250 half track. It's probably a little bit too early to eye a, uh, what's my call it? Actually, he only has the one category of the field, so by the time he gets this build, he probably can go straight for a Panzer Jaeger Command. He probably not going to go straight for the Panzer Support Command and make me happy. He does camouflage there. He's trying to avoid. He does see this reverting back, but don't see the Kettengrad, so make indication that he's gone for camouflage. Don't know if he was in vision range of seeing the Panzer or Kettengrad. We are losing that was there, going for this uh, uh, cutoff sector. They'll deny this fuel sector, but he's going to just capture it up either all the way. The Best only decapture that and run. What did I hear? This scope rifle squad's captured the fuel sector supply. as well. Denying the fuel sector is actually pretty useful, seeing the his opponent's current capturing off. order. He's trying to gauge the Kettengrad there. Decapture and run. Needs to start running. Or drive. One of the three. Camouflage there and does rotate back on the flank. He's going down the road, so good juke there. But it will go straight for this one there, so that's actually a bad capturing order there. And capturing the sector all the way is not important since it's not going to be in supply. And the just need to keep on running. Up here, do have the Panzer Jaeger Command. Probably going to see a 2 to 2 or 3. Does spot this one here. This kind of grad may go down, taking a severe amounts of damage. Damn intricate. So, yeah, he's probably going to go down. Get spotted, unable to camouflage away. The Bren is Bren gunning. Bren carrier will gun it down. One more burst. Uh, missed. And there goes a the Kenegrad. Kenegrad has gone down. Best to use a broken ticket to get that recovered. The enemy is 43 squad engaging the... Looks like the slit trench, not the infantry section. He needs to go for an earlier incendiary grenade, but he maybe find the best all of his fuel into 2 to 2s at this moment. Get some damage there. Three models remaining. Does fall back there. Can't do much versus the slit trench. Howdy. You're welcome. I think uh, Company Rose 1 has been pretty steady as saying around 1,000 to 1,500 players per month according to Steam charts. Plus, that also may exclude physical discs, but then again, I think this is a Steam version only, if I'm not mistaken. Probably am. So, if we're just going by Steam charts alone, it's been pretty stable. Definitely has more players than Concord. <laughs> That's usually where I metric a lot of stuff. Like, how well is it doing? Are new games doing fair to Age of Empires 2, Company of Heroes 2, Company Heroes 1, and as well as like Asia on the Age of Empires series? 
if they're having trouble even beating Comfy Rose 1, the game's dead. Beyond dead. And surprisingly enough, Comfy, uh, Age of Empires 2 is still doing strong. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. I think it does single player better than multiplayer, honestly, but that's probably taboo to say that. You have the left hand in the back of the friend carrier, tapping taxied around. Our Luftwaffe brothers are available for deployment. 52 finds a scope powerful squad. The crane was being knocked around a little bit somehow. Commonwealth forces are capturing a friend. Ah, he damaged the frame to the tr uh, crane cabin. Champopolier can now use incendiary grenades. The more I look at the crane, I'm more wondering like, there's actually no ladder to get up there. I know this is an old game, so continuity like that's not super important. Buttons, blitz is on down the road. Just keep on going down the road and drive on out of there. Section here engaged and also a little bit toasty. All five models still alive. However, civilian wound, he has spoiled some off ground forces for repairs. Bren squad does get outside the Bren carrier, but that's the job of the Bren carrier to carry Brens, right? If section or Panzergrenadiers are wounded behind some good heavy cover there. They showing that slit trench shoes boss. He won't be able to show, show this slit trench shoes boss because that's fully built. Let's add another cancelled slit trench there. Let's go probably to go around catch up the backline suckers. The Panzer player just maintain great field control. And with the sprint uh, squad inside a slip trench, there's nothing much the Pennsylvania player can't do with it. Though he does have incendiary grenades for research, and no trios to, to heal through it. Pennsylvania player is now following him back. We do have the armor car taking a bit of damage. Go Powerful Squad, gain some damage on the Panzer Deer. Panzer Grandier is severely wounded. I don't, know, I don't think he has healing back home. He has Panzer Support Command. He may be eyeing for the Light AT Half Track. Hopefully for a short barrel Panzer IV. I'm biased for a short barrel Panzer IV because I just love seeing explosives hurl at your opponent. After all, there's a quote on my, uh, or a post on my YouTube channel. Don't worry about, tr don't trash talk the game. It's better to hurl explosives and hurl insults. And that low off ground forces need to fall back. They got ripped apart. Slut trench course abandoned. Both two abandoned slut trenches there, but they're relatively safe. But if the Panzer player gets inside of there, there's nothing much the British player can do to dislodge them. He does not have any rifle grenades, and that's the best gar garrison cleaning tool they have. The see grenades been tossed there. It's also civilian when he needs to scuttle and run. Look a bit of fire damage there. No healing gear. No, he does have healing. He has all his cash recovery, of course. He needs a retreat back past in the slip trench to get healing active. Scope of squad is not doing all too well. A whole lot on the field right now. He may be going straight for Panthers, which I'd sort of disagree. I don't have a fuel sword on it. Oh, don't know the cost of all the upgrades, honestly, to my head. Doesn't have base ceiling, which is a bit of a problem. Base ceiling is being researched now. So soon will be no longer a problem. Does two kind of grass alive. One's receiving repairs, the other one's sneaking around. MMG carrier. Does not find the Ketan. Does get spotted there. Trying to decap the fuel sector to two push away four. Does have attack proficiency. And looks like the kind of grad may get gone down by the sapper. He's about to go for some piets. Pants of skirt, short barrel pants for are pretty resistant to get fired. Kampfgruppe company has reported in and is ready to be deployed. Antrax now available. That will be very useful to help displace the HQ itself. He may upgrade these squads to it. He has a, quite a bit of missions reserved. The senior grenade's been thrown. He just infests something. Mortar half track. 
before the S4 command is not being that useful. I do understand the mortar half track throws some Sindri mortars. Good shot there by the PA. Damage into crit there, but those are too few. We'll fall back. We'll fall ground force and really trying to get it repaired. He had firing away, rolls a miss. Yeah, and that's right. He should have held off building the Panzer Support Command. If he's not going to build anything from it, don't build for, uh, build it itself. Does get the cutoff stuck there, denying that fuel income, but does not deny the munitions income because that's being in supply through this way. He does need to get this cutoff sector there to... Wait. That's supposed to be uh, the southern player's cutoff sector. That would be the northern player's cutoff sector to deny income to these resources. Oh, backwards world. <laughs> Infusion sections firing away, getting some much needed blood transfusions while fighting. Double Panther as I predicted. Takes out the friend carry very nice. Also got that guy in, in particular as well. Incendium Mortar. Ooh, great high explosive mortar there. Incendium Mortar is not hitting this uh, slow trench. He can hop inside of the squad. He does also have, also have a captain on the field, providing the power with defense benefit. Triage Center or Patrick Clearing Station received massive damage. Same structure. These Pentrick squads are severely wounded, but he's trying to siege down the casual clearing station. One man squad, I think, is well back. One well placed hit will take this out. Backs off there. Captain gets inside the sector. He hit squad before. Uh, squad got wiped out there. One mortar hits there. The mortar half track taking severe damage. Does save it. G43 squad could try suppressing. Got a light ET half track here. He's the captain, so he has to be careful of any sort of steward. So he does have Pantrex. My ETF track may not be a hard counter to the steward, but it's definitely a hard stop to it. The crowd control version vehicles. I'm not sure what that would be called. It does a uh, deterrent from existing. Very infrastructure squad to pull on the field. Throws that wound squad there. Ford HQ here, so now he has Ford healing. And reinforcements, so that is a very powerful position. He's able to get constant healing while his opponent has fat, uh, inter dispersant, not inconsistent healing. They both have four reinforcements. Here comes a steward, he has light TF track counter. There's a sapper squad, a different sapper squad, not upgraded piets. I was, it's my belief that if you go for stewards, you should try to get a repair sapper out just to overheal them, because an overhealed steward is very nice. Nice for the British player. And that's really nice for the Axis players. Red Clear Station goes down, gets damage into crit there very quickly. No crit shot from. What was that Panzer Shrek shot? Water Half Shrek does go down. That Panzer Shrek shot, I think, missed and then green through the terrain. The two taking some damage. Got two Pentrick squad and one Luftwaffe we'll ground forces. Pentrick gets a hit there. Very nice. I think it's going to be cancer shot there. They're really stacked up for it. Plays pretty wounded. Just polish the fall back. Get healed on up. He scored three four. Left in the first C one. Couple sporadic mortars raining on in. Corporal would not go on field. That's very nice. He still needs. He has a soft. No, the suit's not getting repaired on up, so he has adequate amount of T to deal with it. It's always a little bit iffy trying to use Panstrix against a Stuart because Kainer's a shot. World 1 push way forward. I don't know if the World 1 can take out Stuart at nearly zero health. Good shot there in 2 to 2. He squad received the damage. 
Okay, you got the other school park squad who needs to be tasked in queue order to pack up some resource sectors. Rocket grenade squad does go down. Stoop squad does go down. Rocket grenade squad just pin not down. A barb one should be forward. And this is the problem having your HQ so far forward. If you go over ran, you will get ripped apart. That's one reason why I say it's a double edged sword. Here, drop on the ground. Our munition stores are under attack. Because right now the British players are slowly being bled apart. Great mortar hit there. Very wide scatter hit, but they're all quite wounded. Got now another light cap track on the field as I click on invisible button. Captain and Lieutenant getting nice and toasty. One of them got to see one or two. I think that's probably the Lieutenant. Is attacking a petrol Captain vs. 1, Lieutenant vs. 2. Another light ETF track. Lighting on in. Supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off from supply. Sapphires on the field. Nice incendiary mortar. Skulls of French. Well, of course, can't really hit the retreat button. Patrick does connect on the slit trench. And that PS squad is getting rid of the bar. He's a focus fire, though. Good mortar hits there. Trying to go for more slip trenches. Another Patrick squad push way forward. He does not get inside the slip trench, but he can make the slip trench very warm. Good part of the squad right there. And he does lose to the Patrick squad. That is a very bold Flak 88. It should have an angle on the Ford HQ. Yes, it does. Very good angle. Right now, the British players having trouble pushing his way forward. Plus, the verbal one nearby as well is somewhat to do, too. It'd be hard to push forward. You may want to get out some more. Another verbal one here. Something that would be a good one to once the Flak AD gets to field. Flak AD now pulling the field. So the damage from multiple units. Black and 8 destroys the slit trench there. The food does not go down. More mortar hits in this region. And the, now the Ford HQ is going to get rid of It does have damage to crit. Potion Jaegers could be quite nice. Makes up that one. Black 88 gets a good hit there. Uh, nope, the trenches or these uh, bunkers still alive. Both of the structures do go down. Now, the only thing that's preventing Navigation victory, well, now the truck as well, is the two Vickers emplacements. Kenningrad has full vision of this, uh, this stuff right here. I think he was trying to decapture that sector at the last moment to deny the deployment. And he fought gets found and pieted. Broken ticket. Best use broken ticket to get that recovered. Now I kind of grabbed the opponent field. Luftwaffe ready. Intersection and Sapper report. It's a good damage. We got the verbal one just firing away. Target 
Part one does get buttoned there a little bit. So from shells go down, I've been swallowing them back. Let's take a look at the British player. I don't know if we've even seen a doctrine just yet from him. Oh, he has access to Churchill's. I do like Churchill's. In this situation, Churchill wouldn't be half badge. The only problem is the light ATF track. Not a lot of munitions and comes. So best not go for Churchill AVRE. I think it's even for Churchill. He now only has one sapper, one intersection. A At least two pits, maybe three. Overrun. Uh, those are just two pits in total. Captain and Lieutenant both fetch C2. Sprinting his way forward. Some good damage there. <laughs> Here comes a Churchill. And he may be lagging out of the game right now. Germans are trying to secure our patrol gun. Yep, looks like he's actually out of the game. That is the end of the replay. This is a great scene. Thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.